Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales show, folks. Thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't wise be giving it to you straight. Are you trying to get involved in the Section 8 game? If you are, man, this is where you need to be. That's what we do here on Holton Wise TV. We do quite a bit of stuff for y'all. Uh, but I will say, uh, our bread is definitely buttered in the low-income Section 8 space, right? We have, uh, you know, made millions of dollars uh, with the lower-income stuff. Now... I cut it to you straight, folks. Don't ever, you know, people have accused Holden Wise of a lot of things, the, you know, out there, right? You know, we've been accused of a lot, but it ain't ever been being accused of not cutting y'all straight. So I'm going to cut y'all as straight as can be. This property right here, 5730 Portage Ave, Cleveland, Ohio, 44127, okay? It's a triplex. Well, it's like a duplex in another house, but, you know, three units, right? 34900 right? This is a Section 8 low-income investment, right? I cut it to you straight. I will say that this is even uh, a little bit risque slash uh, tough to deal with. Um, like, this is more difficult than even our appetite, okay? That's what I'm trying to say here. Right? Y'all watch Holton Wise TV. Y'all have probably seen the Tenants from Hell show. Y'all know Holton Wise deals with some rough stuff. This particular property in this particular neighborhood, the 44127 zip code in Cleveland, it's as rough as it gets. It is literally the most challenging, uh, toughest type of area to invest in the Cleveland market, right? Like if you pull up uh, the street, the area, you're going to see boarded up houses, trap houses, you know, things of that nature. This is investing in the ghetto, folks. Uh, so it is a very much a risk-reward thing. Myself, personally, uh, we have a ton of D-grade investments, a lot of C-grade. I've made millions of dollars in that stuff. I've made some serious money doing F-grade stuff. But these days, uh, Holton Wise, you know, he, what I'm trying to say is you got to put your licks in, okay? Uh, and Holton Wise has already put in our licks. So at this point in the business, you know, we're not really messing around with stuff that is this challenging. There's other people out there making a killing at it. Uh, so I will say this. If you are an out-of-state investor getting started and that's why you're watching the show and you're like, oh, dude, I'm trying to jump into the Cleveland market. I've never invested before. Holton Wise can handle my management. This ain't your bag, dog. We're not going to, you know, want to handle the management on a deal like this for, for a newbie investor that's not gonna pan out right the amount of money we would need to charge you to deal with all the issues would just eat up all your profit and we're not going to deal with those issues man we've already you know achieved uh you know getting the market share of the market we want and we, we frankly don't need to work that hard right not to mention uh when you run a management company like this one a big professional management company uh your maintenance guys your leasing agents things of that nature when you send them into literally the most dangerous crime ridden areas uh of the cleveland market you're going to get a lot of turnover and this is 2022 folks we're dealing with inflation uh, we're dealing with labor shortages. The property management business, especially in the low-income space, is an industry that is rife with turnovers, okay? So for all of those reasons, if you are a noob, if you need a property manager, if you're just dipping the toe in the water and you're like, oh, it's the cheapest it could possibly be. Let me uh, get on my tricycle here before I get on my mountain bike. This ain't your bag, okay? If you want to buy it, I will absolutely take the hell out of your money, but don't say I didn't warn you. Now, with all that said, folks, this property, for investors that know what they're doing and are focused on this type of asset, the numbers speak for themselves. This thing can make you a killing. But what I think works the best, and in my career of selling $200 million worth of real estate to investors, I see guys make tons of money on these types of assets, but these are guys or gals. Guys or gals, people. I see people making a ton of money on these types of assets. The commonality that I see with people who are successful in ultra-blighted, ghetto, Section A, however you want to call it, neighborhoods, are people that are typically getting an economy of scale uh, on renovation work, right? So think about, like, your contractors, right? Not 
the contractors who are selling jobs and just hiring subs. I'm talking like contractors uh, who, when they run a job, I'm sure they got some laborers and stuff working for them, but they're physically touching paintbrushes, physically touching hammers, nails, you know, things like that, right? Guys like that that are running jobs, doing a lot of the work themselves and need additional properties to make sure, you know, their full-time laborers are getting their minimum of 40 hours a week so they don't go subbing for other folks. Guys like that make a killing. Uh, guys that have been in this industry and been in the Section 8 low-income space for years and have uh, built their own teams of, like, hourly employees. Guys like that and girls, guys and girls like that, are the people uh, that I see making money, right? So if you're a fresh noob and you don't know what's what and you don't know that this is right for you, it's probably not right for you. But if you're one of those cats, you know darn well this is right for you, man. Three units, we got tenants in there. Well, the current seller, right? This is an out-of-state investor. They purchased it, not from Holton Wise, uh, but it's just too much drama for them. They want out of the business. Uh, they did manage to get themselves four tenants uh, that, as I speak to you right now, are current on their rent. Rents are 450, 450, 400, so 1,300 a month for a price point of 34,900. And you know, folks, again, I'm I'm really talking to the people that know what's going on, are sophisticated, know how to run these businesses, know how to run these properties. Y'all know that you could really get these up to about 700 a unit, right? So your total max rent roll here is, could really be about 2,100 a month. And uh, you know, yeah. It's going to be a battle collecting that 2100 That's why you definitely want to make sure you get your government-guaranteed tenants when you're in neighborhoods this blighted. Uh, but that's why you get the risk-reward of being able to pick up the sucker for freaking pennies on the dollar, right? 2100 in rent for 34900 Is it an easy job to manage a property in a neighborhood like this? <laughs> Hell no, man. You don't believe me? Watch the Tenants from Hell show. You never invested before? Watch the Tenants from Hell show. Do not send... $35,000, $100,000, $200,000 to the Cleveland market until you've watched the Tenants from Hell show. No, you got to have brass balls. If you got them brass balls, you know who you are, and you know if this deal makes sense for you. If you're just trying uh, to learn, watch that show and see if that's the type of thing you can get into. But I recommend you start with probably like C or D class uh, to like really get your, you know, your water wings, so to speak, right? But my rough, tough, seasoned, gristled veterans. The numbers speak for themselves, as you see throughout this whole video. As I've been speaking to you, my guys cut it to you straight. We give you guys the most information possible. We gave you video tours of two of the units. Uh, we're unable to get into that third unit, but... You'll be able to make your offer contingent on inspection, and we will do our very best to try to get you inside of that third unit. Uh, you could finance it, possibly, if you want. Uh, all the units, of course, are livable and habitable. Sometimes it's hard to get mortgages this low, so if you can find a lender who's willing to loan you uh, money on a property this low, I mean, dude, you're looking at like money out of your pocket at less than 10K. That's why a lot of investors uh, are making millions of dollars with this type of stuff, but they're definitely working very hard. If you want to make a cash offer, that works too. To submit offers, just submit them to my team, sales at holtonwise.com. If it's cash, include your proof of funds. If it's finance, include that pre approval. Make sure you verify with your lender, though, that they could go this low, right? Because we're talking usually 25% down, so. Like, let's just call it 35K times 75%. That would be a loan of like 26250 There are some lenders that have minimums out there. Some will work with like a minimum of 50 loan amount. Others go down as low as 30. I've seen some go down as low as 10, uh, but they are few and far between. We do have a list of lenders if you guys need them. Uh, but not every lender out there, folks, doing 30-year loans is going to write a $26,000 mortgage. So verify that or make a cash offer, right? You can shoot it, that stuff to us directly, as I said, or if you're working with your own real estate agent, all of the information on how they could submit an offer will be in the MLS. So just let them know to check there and they should be able to handle that for you. You know who you are out there. Let's get the deal done. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.